Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. With your chicken or duck on its back, you can fold the wings over just like this. Okay, both sides. No big deal. It just locks them in place and makes them look pretty. Now, all you gotta do here is discover which end you're gonna stuff. Obviously, it's gonna be the one with the big gaping hole. So we'll flip that thing over. And as you can see here in the cavity, there's plenty of room to stuff whatever you want in there. But since we're doing a Cantonese style chicken, we're gonna use some hoisin. And we need to put enough in there to coat the inside of this entirely. And you just smear it around in there with your spoon or your ladle or spatula. If you want, you can even get your hand in there, but that gets pretty messy. Just flip it back over, rub each side, make sure it's completely smearing the interior wall of this bird. What we're trying to do here is marinate the bird. And because hoisin has such a strong, distinct flavor, it's really going to help that Cantonese taste that everybody's looking for in their bird. Now, get you some five spice powder and we'll layer over the top of that hoisin sauce. Another critical step. It's going to get pretty messy here. But all you do is you put the powder in and I like to close it up so I don't lose it. And I flop the bird back and forth so it can land everywhere on that hoisin sticky wall. Ginger is another key component. And we're going to put that in there. And we're going to have it on the breast side to ensure that the breast gets the flavor of the ginger. Just like that. Now here's a whole bunch of onions. I'm going to leave the rubber bands on because it doesn't matter. It makes it easier to even stuff in there all together like this. And if you feel like you, you don't have enough room in here, don't worry. Just keep pushing. It'll work. Just stuff it all in there tight and it'll puff up that bird. Now closing it's another matter. You just got to have a rod or a pin that you can shove through the bottom side here to keep it from leaking out. Start on the bottom and just sew it like a needle and thread. It's that simple. Back and forth, over the top and under and through. Now as you can see here, it looks like it's done, but I got a small opening right there on top. Make sure it's completely closed up. So I'll pull it back up, no big deal take it back through one more time to tighten up that skin. Now we'll take it over the stove for the next stage. Now check this out, watch closely. Did you see that skin shrink up? It didn't just clean up, it shrunk up. It's tightening up because I'm giving it a hot bath. I've got some boiling water here that I'm just covering the bird. I use a broiler pan over the top of a huge bowl so it'll catch the water and I don't make a mess, but this gets rid of all the bacteria. Just give it a turn, do the same thing on the other side. This is really an important step because this bird is going to marinate in the refrigerator for a 24 hour period. So getting rid of the bacteria eliminates any contamination risk you might have for your other food. So get all sides of your bird and make sure that you eliminate that risk completely with boiling hot water. It's that easy. Now in a small bowl, mix together some plain white vinegar and some honey. It's one part for one part. Now generously coat your bird. 
cover the entire bird with this outside marinade. And now we're ready for the 24 hour marination in the refrigerator. And 24 hours later, here we are again. And we're gonna brush this honey vinaigrette on there one last time before it goes in the oven. And in she goes. Now, we're just gonna set the oven at 350 for an hour and a half. And here we are, back an hour and a half later. And here's our bird. Now the first thing you want to check is the temperature. Make sure it hits 165. If it is, just take it out and let it cool. Beautiful, isn't she? An hour and a half did that, our Cantonese chicken. Now here is a breast portion. I'm gonna peel off the skin here. Just to give you an idea how we serve it, just take your breast with a sharp knife, make some thin slice cuts all the way through it. And we'll plate that. right there, just a little bit off center. And with the skin, we turn it upside down. It's easier to cut through that way. And the same size slices all the way down. Just run your blade underneath it like this, see if you can get it all up at the same time. And garnish the top of the chicken. Just like that, it's beautiful. Now, I know I use this a lot, but I love it. It's orange chili sauce, but it tastes great with chicken, especially duck. If you're gonna do a Cantonese duck, mmm. Then just throw down some, some scallions and you're good to go. And there you have it. Cantonese chicken, duck style right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.